Hello everybody who's joining us. This is Colleen Smith for Devon Live and I've got a very, very lucky job today. I'm sat on the beach, outside the beach huts here at Corbin Head. I'm sitting on my sandals in my hand and I'm sitting on the steps of these lovely, lovely old wooden beach huts here. The classic nostalgic shot of a British beach in summertime and it's a beautiful day I hope you can hear me yeah thank you somebody's just said it's sweet of us to do it well it's a pleasure for me to do it because I can't imagine anything better today there's a bit of a breeze up on the prom but when you come down here on the beach there's not a hint I'm trying not to point the camera but there are because people are probably don't want to be filmed while they're sunbathing but there are people outside their beach huts are very very lucky to have beach huts down here so for those who don't know it this is Corbin Head Beach and I'm going to stroll along here with my sandals in my hand with my feet in the warm sand for those of you who are stuck in an office or can't get out um, we get people joining us from all over the world people who are nostalgic for Devon or people who just can't get out right now people who live in Devon, people who used to live in Devon, people who've never been here. So here we are, behind up there is the Grand Hotel and then down here we have the lovely beach huts, lots of them still closed up. As I say it's quite chilly when you're up um, higher up, I don't know if you can see but just behind that turquoise one there are police are carrying out a, a drug swipe on a white van. I've just been to talk to them but um, that's part of police keeping the streets safe in Torquay they've got an operation going called Op 100 and they are literally just doing a drug swipe now on a white van um, so this is that's more hot, hard news and my colleagues back in the office are trying to find out more about that and that's out on um, the main Torbay Road outside there's the Grand Hotel above the beach huts and I'm here on the beach and there's not a drop of wind down here. The sky is blue. It's the most perfect June day. I feel very, very privileged to be standing here when I could be stuck behind a desk all day. Um, so the tide is now fully out down here. Um, my colleague um, Becky went and had a stroll along the beach at North Devon yesterday and we only found out today that the tides are very different in North Devon and South Devon. Um, but this is low tide and a full moon tonight the strawberry moon tonight so big low tide so we're going to walk along the only drawback is that sometimes when you get very high and very low tide you get a lot of seaweed that doesn't get washed away it gets trapped in the cliffs over there on underneath the rocks of Corbin Head and it gets a bit whiffy sometimes from the seaweed which I could smell as I came down but once you're here you get used to it in a flash there are some motorboats speeding out there, if you can see. So welcome, there's quite a few people joining us now. So this is Corbin Head in Torquay and I am going to take you for a stroll along Corbin Head, then we'll go along Tor Abbey Sands um, and see Devon at its best in the summertime. The schools haven't broken up so there are no crowds not many children about still, there are people sunbathing who own the beach huts so I'm pointing the camera away from people who are sunbathing because they deserve their privacy. I'm pointing it back behind me. There's the, the, um, the huts at Corbin Head and above it the old toilet block which the council is going to is in the middle of leasing out and it will become um, a sort of coffee shop and um, a water sports destination. Sorry, I'm just falling over on the sand. <laughs> so here we are. Over there you can see Rock Walk. You might not be able to see it very well but the big wheel is over there behind the Princess Theatre and then the pier. We had that last time I did a Facebook Live, that very dramatic fire on a yacht with 8,000 litres of fuel on fire. So there's quite a lot of seaweed. 
it's actually quite prickly on my feet. I'll put my, sock, put my shoes back on in a minute, but not the seaweed, I mean just the small shaly pebbles underneath. It's a beautiful day. When the tide goes out this far, when we get the big low tides, there's a little island that you can see, a sort of rocky outcrop in the middle of the bay there, off Tor Abbey, and you can see it there today. There's a few people on paddle boards and quite a few people actually in the water strolling out towards the little rocky island which people call different things. We used to always call it Crab Island when we were kids. Oh, and the, it is quite whiffy here right now. I can smell seaweed quite strongly. It gets When you get very big high and low tides the seaweed gets brought in and then doesn't get taken out again and it gets a bit, a bit smelly. It smells almost like a gassy ammonia smell. Right, I'll be quiet a minute while I can climb over these rocks. in my video. I don't quite understand what that was. I just got a message. Okay, I'm up on the the steps on the promenade. So hello to everybody who's joining us. So we do this for the people who can't get out and about, either because they're just physically not able or they're at work or they're not, don't live by the seaside. So this is look back to where we've just been, looking into the sun a bit. That's Corbin Head, that headland, the trees on top, and Corbin Head Beach with the beach huts. And this we're going towards now is Tor Abbey Beach, and the tide is out. It's not very crowded because it's not the school summer holidays. The poor children are still in class or taking exams over in A-levels or GCSEs, I should say. just having a quiet stroll along the seafront and as you can see the beach is pretty empty I'm trying to avoid people who are sunbathing there was a lady sunbathing topless back there so I was quite careful to avoid her because she wouldn't have wanted to be on Devon live hello everybody who's watching we're just doing taking a stroll along the seafront in Torquay we are looking up towards Rock Walk and all the hotels and flats on top of it and it's a nice quiet sunny day there's no wind well actually there's a bit more wind here there was no wind at all down on Corbin Head was completely shielded there's a little slight breeze here so it's perfect actually you couldn't get a nicer day paddle boarding. I'm going to go down again onto the sand. So just got to be careful because some of these steps are a bit uneven. I've kind of worn away by the sea over the years and I'll have to climb over a bit of seaweed at the bottom. This step is completely eroded by the sea. Some of them are completely sort of broken up so I'm being careful. Okay, there's a lot of seaweed on the bottom steps here, so they're quite slippery. Every year the sand comes in and out different amounts, so sometime, some years you've only got half as many steps that are revealed, but this year all the way down to the bottom and some of them are disappearing, eroding. So I'm now on the lovely warm sand. I think the tide still has quite a long way to go out by the look of it. Or maybe it's coming back in. Maybe I got the tide times wrong. I thought it was, this is low tide. I'll go down and have a paddle. Hang on a 
minute, got a message here that I missed. It says, shouldn't be dogs. Most people abide by the rules. It does bug me as I don't. Living in an institute, beach are dog friendly. Did I just miss the dog? I wasn't noticing. I can't see any dogs here, but maybe I wasn't looking. You're right, this is completely from um, May onwards a dog free beach because there are little children who stick their hands in the sand. I can remember playing here in the sand as a child and sticking my hand into a big pile of dog poo which somebody had only slightly buried and ever since then I completely agree with the rule. Most people are really good and respect the rules so thanks for that comment. That was from Marilyn. Oh hi Marilyn. So down, I'm going to put my feet in. I did actually swim here last night, right from just, yeah, just here. And it, it, when the tide was right in, ooh, lots of interesting little sea creatures I can see. Ooh, these are interesting. I don't know if anybody knows what they are. They're just coming up from, I don't know if we've got any specialists. I'm trying to get as close as I can without getting the camera wet. What are these? There's lots of them. Anybody know? Loads of them all just peeping out because the tide's quite a long way out here. There's lots all the way along. I don't know what those are, if anybody can help. And the sea today is really warm over the sand. It was icy cold yesterday evening when I went in. Really took my breath away now with it coming in gently over this sand it feels beautiful really actually warm I know people don't think I mean obviously it'll get cold as you go further out but there are quite a few people who who are trying to get out to the little crab island there in the middle which is only exposed at really low tides so the school's still most children still at school there aren't any children down here except for people with toddlers are here and I'm having a paddle very very lucky to be out here hi Paul Paul's sat at his desk I should be sat at my desk but I volunteered to come out and do a Facebook live my colleague Becky did one from North Devon yesterday completely different kind of wild open beach. This is the main Tor Abbey Sands beach. I'll do a little spin around so you can see. That is the Grand Hotel behind me. Corbin Head Beach there, Corbin Head. As you can see the beach is still fairly quiet because children are still at school apart from the toddlers. So this is a little tiny little girl going in or little boy. I can't tell the little girl I think. Oh, she's just fallen in, <laughs> still smiling, which shows you that it is actually quite warm today. And apart from that, there's a few swimmers and somebody in an inflatable, some inflatable boats. And what I really need now is some kind of marine expert to help because this lady's looking as well. There are loads of these sea creatures popping their heads up out. Do you know what they are? I'm doing a film for Devon Live and I'm just asking if anybody knows what they are. No, we were just saying. I, I've swum here all my life and I've never seen them before. And there's thousands of them today. Yeah. They've all got little bits of them. Um, yeah. I don't know what that is. Stuff they almost look like upside down roots, don't yes. they? There we are. But they're no different when they're here in the water. No, 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 they're buried in. Some kind of sand eel? I don't know. I'm not an expert. Thank you. Are you on holiday? Yes. Oh, you're very lucky with the weather. Enjoy it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so this lady is fascinated as me by these thousand millions of sea creatures popping their heads up or their tails up. They almost look like they've burrowed in head first and their tails have got what look like little feathery roots coming up out of the sand. So you have to be careful not to walk on them, which is impossible not to walk on them because there are so many of them. 
I'll show you a bit here. There's like a little forest of them. If I walk back here, you probably aren't interested, but I'd love to know what they are. If anybody's got any idea. Razor clams. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Ashley Holman says razor clams. Oh, they're not razor sharp, I've got to say, thank goodness. Because um, there was a really serious incident at Paynton a few years ago. Well, a long time ago, about 40 years ago, um, when the razor clam shells cut people's feet at a particularly low tide. Feet, feet <laughs> at a particularly low tide. This bird is having a little look to see if he can peck them up, but he couldn't get to them. Oh, well, here we are. Yeah, the um, the crows are trying to eat them. Ah, he's pulled one out. I'm going to go and see what it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, that is actually, he's managed to get a... Yeah, it could be a clam. Oh, interesting. Thank you. So thousands and thousands of tiny razor clams just here down by the shore at low tide. There's a full moon tonight, a strawberry moon, whatever that means. And there is more of a wind down here because I'm away from the shelter of the, of the promenade. But it's still a beautiful day. So here I am at Tor Abbey. I've come to, um, to film for anybody who is stuck in an office. And we do, people are, are genuinely very thankful if they can't get out, if they're disabled or housebound or if they don't live near the sea. So here we are. Thank you, Selena. Selena sent me a link, but I can't click on it till I finish. I hope that's about these razor clams that are all along, but they're not sharp. They're not, they're not causing any problems. And the crows are eating them, trying to pull them out them out. So I'm going to keep walking along. I've got my feet in the water a bit and the water's lovely and warm. I swam last night at, um, and it was icy cold at full at high tide at about seven o'clock but now over this sand the sea has warmed up and it's literally like warm a warm bath. You'd think you were in the med. I'm sure it gets chillier as you go a little bit further out, but here I've just got my toes in and it's gorgeous. So it's a lovely, beautiful June day. I don't think you could beat England when the sun comes out, actually. Somebody's given me a thumbs up there, so other people agree. I'm just taking a sort of nostalgic stroll from Corbin Head, now going along Tor Abbey Sands. Tide is right out. There are people who've actually managed to get onto Crab Island. I don't know if you can see. Can I zoom in? Let me just try a bit. Somebody is standing. I, I used to try and paddle out there when I was a kid and it is full of, it's quite hard to stand on because it's very, it's covered in shells and it's very rough on your feet, I remember. So that's some people have gone out on little boats. You only see that island at very low tides, like when there's a full moon like today. So it's not often that you see it. Very head at Brixham in the distance. That is hang on, I'm trying to zoom back out now. That is um, Princess Pia the wheel. I'll walk towards the wheel if, I can, if, um, if people want to keep watching. Ah, somebody's just saying, thanks Norma, that she watched Rick Stein. Sorry, the, my notifications keep scrolling up so I have to scroll back again. She watched Rick Stein cooking razor clams in France. He says they're delicious. Well, oh, I don't, I'm veggie so I don't know if I'd like it but it's surprising that people aren't down here. The, the crows are definitely having a good go at trying to peck them out and eat them. And I, I'm just trying to zoom back out now. Let me, hang on a second, sorry for the shaky hand. I'll, there we go. Okay. So this is just a quiet stroll. 
in the sunshine for people who can't get out because they're at work or desk bound or don't live near the sea or for people who used to live in Devon and miss the beach are nostalgic for it here we are that's Rock Walk the Tor Abbey Sands building where the old Palm Court used to be now this is the Weesup coffee shack and they run um, water sports activities from here I see paddle boarding and kayaks and they have a really good community of people who love getting into the water perfect blue skies look not a cloud in the sky oh no there's a tiny cloud a puff that's the only bit of cloud i can see that's the grand hotel and Corbin Head. Okay, I'm going to stroll on. I come back a bit from the water now and the razor clams, which were poking their heads out. Thousands and thousands of them. If they're tasty, I'm amazed that people aren't down here digging them up with their buckets and spades and cooking them for dinner like Rick Stein does. So thanks for that info, people. It's amazing what people know about. I've swum here for 60 years right, as a little toddler um, and never seen those before. I haven't swum out. I usually go to Meadfoot. Meadfoot at the moment is closed because the council are resurfacing. So um, you can get there, but you can't drive down, you can walk down. Not The beach isn't closed, Meadfoot Sea Road is closed. For those who need to know, I did see when I went for a walk there the other day that people were trying to drive down and had to go back. So lots of people going for paddles and the sea I've just been in is, is actually warm and it was freezing last night. So it's when, when the tide is out and the, the sea goes over this, this hot sand, it warms up quite quickly in the shallows, just as cold when you go further out. There's Berry Head in the distance and the whole sweep of Tor Bay. I think it's about 23 miles of coastline all the way around. On a perfect day. So people do like to, to, to have a little... come and see us walking on the beach. I do feel like it's not a real job when I'm doing this. Any excuse to get away from being stuck in front of a computer, I will not say no. There's Tor Abbey Sands over there. And there aren't a lot of people still. Kids are still doing GCSEs and other ex all their exams, end of term exams. So it always seems to be the nicest weather of the year, seems to be when kids are stuck in doors taking exams. It's a shame. And it is a beautiful day and the forecast is for more and better weather as the week goes on. There is a slight breeze. When I started my walk over at Corbin Head there was no breeze whatsoever over there. It was actually really hot but here it's a bit more wide open and there is a bit of a, a, bit of a breeze over at Tor Abbey. This is a great space for kids wanting to kick a ball or play frisbee because it's lots of quite hard sand here. It's <laughs> Always makes you feel nostalgic when you come down here. I used to spend every spare hour here as a kid with my sandwiches, fish paste sandwiches and a bottle of pop. There used to be a cafe then, just here. That's long gone and now we sup have got their cafe shack, cafe hut up there, portable one. Oh, the Sandman is here. Oh, how lovely. Oh, what a great surprise. I'm going to go and talk to Jeff the Sandman. Oh, he's doing one of his fabulous designs. I genuinely didn't know he was going to be here, but thinking about it, this is the best time for him when the tide's right out. Oh, he's just done a big talk 
Happy Heart. I'm going to leave him to his work a minute. There he is. This man is an absolute legend. He does all this by eye. I have no idea how. He makes perfect circles. I don't really want to go over too close because he's still creating his design. It's a huge circle. I'm going to, I'll walk up and film. Actually, I'll go and work with him first and then go and film. So he's done a great big talky heart and he's raking his design in. Oh, how amazing. I had no idea Jeff was going to be here. I'm going to see if he's happy to talk to me. He might not be, but um, hopefully he will. Oh, so he's twisting the, this to create um, like pyramids of like a sunshine all the way around. Let's we'll see if he'll let me come over a bit closer. Jeff, are you okay if I film you? It's Colleen from Devon Live. Colleen from Devon Live again. Hi, we've met before. Nice to see you again. How are you? fine. Brilliant. Oh, lovely to see you. You're just... Is this for anything in particular or are you just... Just Torquay. Just Torquay. All the, all the love for Torquay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Is this one of your first of the year? No. no. I've done about a dozen. Have you? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Yeah, you too. So, uh, what time did you start this? Um, I started nine o'clock. Nine today, so it's taken us three and a half hours or something. I'm not sure Four it, hours. Um, yeah. I never checked. No, and you no, just no, tell no. people you do this all by by all uh, by, eye. by eye. Are you able to explain? I'm just going to take a look. Put the sorry. I've got I've got I've got a little mic right here, but I've got it twisted. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go a bit closer to you. People can hear you because you've got a gentle voice. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, tell people how you do it. My eye, it's yeah. um, no measurements, no. except their footwork, and that's it. So do you do you count your feet? Yeah. How many footsteps? It depends on what how big I want the circle. So how did you start it this one? Um, four meter steps. Yeah. Going all the way around. Yeah. And from there onwards. And then is it just you just make it up as you go along? Yeah. Well, even the letters? Yeah. Wow. It's always perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you told me before that when you go up, up yeah. on the bridge afterwards, yeah. it amazes you. Yeah. It still does now. Yeah. That's been 10 years now, is it, as well. It's been 10 years since you that started. I've been started, yeah. And you you told me before that you, you'd you had a stroke or an accident. Yeah, I had a stroke yeah. um, five years ago. Yeah. And this has kept me going. But but didn't you, you said you just in after that you were able to do this? It kind of like well, a power. Yeah, beforehand it was like more childish. Yeah. Um but after my stroke it became more precise. More precise. Yes, so wonderful. Thank you. Can't explain it. That's no, you can't explain it. I can't either. I'm going to go up on the bridge and film just so people can okay. see how amazing yeah. it is. Okay. Nice to see you again, Jeff. You All the too. best. All Take the care. Bye-bye. I'm trying not to stand on your wonderful work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucky I didn't have my shoes on. So that's Jeff, the Sandman, he's known as. And as he said, he's been here. So I'm just trying to put my microphone back on. So there we are been doing this work so it's just all he has is this one little rake here and then the big rake and totally by eye he counts out footsteps and then he just sets off and creates these perfect circles on the sand and designs and people ask him to do pro wedding proposals and all sorts of different things and it doesn't matter what it's a he's asked to do it, it always turns out being quite perfect somehow and <laughs> he admits that even he doesn't know and he said that for some reason having a stroke made it better afterwards I can't begin to understand that I'm gonna go up the steps here now this is the, the underneath the bridge we're going under that goes over Torquay seafront a lot of you will know and then I then you'll be able to look down and see He's done. You have to put up with me huffing and puffing a bit going up the stairs. Oh. The council have got some of it um, sectioned off because they are 
repainting, which is nice to see. These bits will stop the rust coming through. So this side is open and the other side is closed, which is lucky because I'll be able to film. There he is down there. There's Jeff, the Sandman. He's created that totally precise perfect circle well it looks it to the naked eye looks it to me it's incredible and now he's with his rake putting in those triangles oh I'm really happy that I saw that he is really a legend in Torquay and he's a, a lovely man he does a, a lot of work to help with the homeless because he himself has been homeless so he likes, now likes to help others so for anybody who's just joined us, this is Colleen Smith, Devon Live. We just came for a stroll. We started off at the other end of the seafront at Corbin Head. Now we're at Tor Abbey Sands. The tide is right out, so it's perfect for Jeff. He's literally just filmed it as we got here. Couldn't have been better timing. I'm very proud that we got here to see that. He is walking around the outside with his rake. It looks like he's thinking about what to do next. He's got bare feet so he doesn't disturb his work. He's stepping in over where he's made the, created the patterns on the sand. So when he gets a good, well there he's going to put another layer in now. He's going to put some, a different design adding to the picture. Oh, that's nice. Made me happy. Made my day. There. So, if anybody's just joined us, this is Devon Live. We're just doing a little bit of a walkabout for people who are death found on this lovely early summer day. The sky is as blue as it could possibly be up there. Oh, it's just put a message. I've got, my, I've got my reading glasses on to read the messages. Here we are. What's happened to the good old British deck chair? Oh. Would love to see them back on our gorgeous beaches. Do you know what? I totally agree with you, Norma. Totally agree with you. I think it's down to manpower. Manpower is the expensive thing nowadays, isn't it? Um, yeah, there used to be teams of workmen on Torquay in the summer. School boys would come and work once the schools broke up. Um, and they used to have all the wooden deck chairs, they'd lift them all out and then people would go around and charge people and then they'd lift them all back at the end of the day. Then for a while they had some, they were wooden and I suppose they would break quite easily and then they had plastic ones for a while and people they stopped doing that. Yeah, it's a shame isn't it? I mean it's okay if you're lucky enough to have a car that, and people can help drop off or if you're young and fit and can carry your own chairs but a lot of older people can't do that especially when they're on holiday. Back to Jeff getting towards the end of his there we are it's quite windy up here on the bridge you'll see the council is fixing all the rust spots painting it putting on some sort of rust protector and there's Jeff putting the finishing touches to this beautiful mandala I think that's what you call them with a heart Talky and somebody just behind me said Talky it's perfect. <laughs> it is, it's a proper British seaside town. It's Brixham, Berryhead, going around to Paynton and Goodrington and Preston and Rivermead and Corbin Head. I'm just having to scroll back because they disappear off my screen quite quickly. Lots of people watching. Hi everybody who's joined us. Just taking a stroll. I've had a paddle. The sea is actually warm. I'm not kidding. I went in last night and it was freezing when the tide was right up to the steps up here. It was breathtakingly cold to get in. But just now when I put my feet in I could actually say it's hot. It, was, it felt like it was in the med, which is how it gets when it, the tide goes out over the sand here on a sunny day. It's obviously still cold as you get further out. And then you can see the island, Crab Island, in the middle that you can only get to on some really, really low high tide, low tides when the full moon's out, which is tonight. It's a strawberry moon tonight. 
these are on prom here all the very successful tour abbey sands cafes and restaurants yeah bistro and then there's a costa bistro lounge nasi guanos fish and chips shop on the rocks and used to be a cocktail bar is now called Torquay beer work Jeff himself was homeless at one stage, so he's he now works during the winter helping other homeless people. Okay, I'm going to walk back now along the sand. This tarmac is actually hot because I've got bare feet and I've got my sandals in my hand. still pretty quiet on the beaches because the schools haven't broken up for the summer. So it's mostly people with um, toddlers enjoying this beautiful day. Hi Sharon, got lots of people joining us. So if you've just joined us, there isn't really much more for me to say apart from we're just doing this for those people who can't get out and about. They probably would rather I just kept quiet so they could just look at the view. I'm walking back down to the sea, going to pop my toes in again. A bit of seaweed. It is an absolutely perfect. English seaside summer's day. There's a bit, a little bit of a breeze down here by the water's edge, which is nice. It's not too hot. I think the tide's turned now. I'm going to go back and see if I can see these razor clams. For those of you who've just joined us, there are thousands and thousands of razor clams all the way along the sea's edge edge but I think the tide has just come just about cover them up again now yeah they've disappeared so it was only at the, the peak of the low tide that you could see them poking out Enjoying having a paddle. And put my feet in. Really, really lovely temperature. Those of you can get out. I don't 
really recommend getting your feet in the sea today. Looking towards the Grand Hotel now. This is Tor Abbey Sands and Torquay Seafront. You've just joined us. This tide's just turned, it's just coming back in. It's beginning to cover over the little island in the middle there, which you can only see. Sorry, I'm getting pop up. Trying to zoom in, but it's not letting me. Yeah, that's the, the island there. And the tide's nearly covered it again. When we walked the other way, there were people on that, They'd gone out, paddled out to it. The tide's turned, and there were thousands of rock, no, razor clams poking through at the very lowest tide, but now they've all disappeared. The tide's come back in over them. one with nature. Absolutely loving this. It's a really lovely day. It's not hot. It was hot over on when I first stopped at Corbin Head because you're sheltered from any breeze at all. It was hot. So there is more of a breeze over here because it's wide open people with their paddle boards. I don't even know what that thing is that that guy's on. But it looks like fun. This is we up. Water sports, kayaks, and paddle boards, which has been a great addition to the seafront. Hi, everybody who's joined us. This is Colleen Smith for Devon Live. I've got the very, very lucky job. It's not a job at all. This is just amazing. I'm having a paddle, I'm wandering up and down the seafront. I started over at Corbin Head. I came along and met Jeff the Sandman, who's done a huge, one of his beautiful decorative circles and had a chat with him, which was a complete surprise. I had no idea he was going to be there, so I was really lucky to see him. Somebody is now ringing my other phone, so I'm just going to have to turn that off. Excuse me. Colleagues trying to ring me. Sorry. I'm just in the middle of the Facebook Live on Tor Abbey Seafront. Somebody have a little swim, teaching a youngster to swim there in the sh warm shallow water. Oh, a little baby. <laughs> this is Tor Abbey. It's getting busier now. It was quite quiet when I first came down here. But now there are lots of people over the last half hour it's got busier and busier as the day's gone on slarty bark fast <laughs> hello slarty from the 
Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is joining us. There's the Grand Hotel and Cricket up the centre of the beach. It's absolutely beautiful down here. 